So guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, we got a little bit of toggle back here I'm going to show you. And I, this is just a little tip uh, before I get into this video of showing you this awesome sheath by Leonard Leatherworks for my Falcon even F1. Um, you need about 20 days, guys, uh, of minus minus temperature weather to harvest chaga. Um, you can harvest it at different times of the year, but it's not going to be as potent and it's not going to be as medicinal. Um, unless you leave it over the cold weather because what the birch tree does is that's its defenses of to that spot so what it's doing is in the cold it's it's magnifying those defenses to that one spot so when it gets really cold you're getting all the nutrients pounded right back into the piece of chaga when you cut it in the summertime there's sap and there's all these things flowing you're not getting all the nutrients guys so in a way for medicine it's a waste to use it so if you can only find so much of it instead of just chopping everything you got wait till it's good medicine but i'm going to show you right here a piece that i cut before and i left it around uh, in a circle of the piece that i cut out and it's actually starting to take off very good and i have plenty of chaga left uh, for myself and for other like people that have ailments so i don't need to take this so i'm just going to leave it but uh, this is case in point because we'll see it again in another video we're on the edge of one of our blueberry fields here uh, that goes in quite a few acres and then there's the beginning of another one over here and in this vid in this uh, season of uh, videos, guys, you're going to see a lot of Spooklandia, as we call it. Uh, it's owned by my uh, my dad, and uh, it's just a very cool spot. And it's just one of those places, guys, that you actually get a very good, to me anyway, you get a very good connection to nature. Um, when I just walked up the road, I heard all these turkeys. They were in a fight for their life, I would imagine, against some coyotes. And I'm going to add some pictures in a different video of actually a bobcat that got killed up here. And there's an eagle eating it. All the stuff goes on over here, guys, when we're not around. So it's it's cool to be to get in to be a little bit a part of that sometimes. So I'm going to get a tea going here, guys. I'll show you this piece of chaga first. But I'm going to get a uh, coffee going or a tea. And then I'm going to show you this cool sheath from uh, Leonard Leatherworks, who's a homesteader out of Ontario. And he's a cool guy. So we'll get into that here in a second. But let me show you this piece that I harvested before. And I left some so it will sustain itself again for another harvest, right? So you can see right there guys i cut a huge chunk of this out and i actually have a video on my channel if you go back a year or two you'll see it so this is a year or two it took where the growth but it's starting to come back that's a whole new part of a growth so up in here is and in, in little parts of the tree here and on the very back end of it there's also a, a spot where it's starting to come back so just something to think about guys just because you see it it's exciting you see it and you've been looking for it some people have looked for months and months and seasons and seasons don't just hack it down and take whatever you got just you know sustain it guys that's all i'm saying because if you need it for health reasons you know and i have a few health things coming up guys they're not coming up that i have and i haven't really talked much about them but i gotta start taking better care of myself and that's just how i'm gonna do some of it it's through some natural things so just bear with me guys we'll get a, uh, some uh, water on the boil here and i'll show you this just awesome awesome cheese So guys, what we're going to do here guys, we're going to have a look at this. Um, you're going to see this in more videos to come as well, because I plan on carrying it quite a bit. But one thing I want to get out before I say anything is that this is going to be, uh, you're going to be able to have a code to be able to get these yourself from uh, Leather, Leonard Leatherworks with a 10% discount, which is like awesome. Uh, it's going to be, the code is going to be SPOOK10 and there's going to be a link in the description to uh, Leonard's, uh, Leonard Walls. Which is Leonard Leatherworks is uh, his Etsy page, guys. Uh, he has an Instagram as well. I'll put a link to that as well. But uh, he does a lot of his business through Etsy, and he's out of Canada. And it only took a few days to get here for me, and way from the you know rural Ontario to New Brunswick. A uh, little bio about him is he uh, operates a homestead with his wife. He hasn't been to town in like three years, guys, because he works on leather all the time, so they can keep building up a homestead. And if you know anything about homesteading, guys, when you're far, far out, you got to be able to get things into you. So it takes a lot longer. It's not like when you get a new house in a subdivision, you can drive down to Ikea or Walmart and load a truck up and just bring it out. It takes a long time to build things up. So he's that's what he's doing. So, I mean, 
We'll have a quick look at this guys, but it's an absolute beautiful sheath as you can see there And it has this pocket right here for a DC4 sharpener. That's also a fault even product uh, It's got a lanyard loop there for, or a Ferrocene rod loop right there. You can of course wear it on your belt, but just a beautiful uh, You know beautiful stitching um, it's in the Falcon even traditional way. It has a couple holes here at the bottom and what I did which I was happy to find that out is I wear it this way uh, Across my chest like so But just beautiful uh, buttons and everything on it guys uh, right now. I've got a cigarette lighter in here In the uh, pouch, but I mean you're just basically limited to your imagination as what you can put in there But it is made for a DC 3 or 4 sharpener and you can put other stuff. I'm going to put some fire stuff in there, guys. I carry another sharpener in the pack I always carry. So it's just an absolutely beautiful sheath. But it's got his uh, maker's mark on the back here, which is a lion's head, which is very cool. But just have a look at that stitching, guys. But uh, check out my Instagram, too, guys. This is just a quick video today. But you're going to see this again more in an in-depth video. This is what I'm just going to say is a quick look at the sheath. And uh, as I was out and about, because I'm kind of traveling along here, guys, trying to check out a few spots back here for Chaga and for other resources. But I just love this sheath, guys. It's made my system the way I carry it a thousand times better. And uh, I just really, really love it. And everything about it is quality. And like I said, guys, you're going to be buying, getting it from a guy who is building up a homestead for his family. And he does a lot of other stuff. He has more cross draw sheets. He does other different models of A1, uh, the S1, all kinds of different Falcon even uh, types. But I absolutely love it, guys. And it's like I said, it's made my system a lot better. I love carrying a knife this way, especially in the winter time. We've talked about that before in different videos, guys, because it's right here and it's not in the way because I can take it and just tuck it under my arm like that. But then when I want it, I slide it up front with a paracord and then away you go. So. But there'll be links to everything on Leonard Leatherworks. And like I said, you got to use that code, guys. 10% off. That's a big deal. Especially for your custom leather. Spook 10. Get the 10% off, guys. And let them know Spook sent you. But anyway, guys, I'll get back with you in a second. I'm going to get my uh, coffee going here. And we'll have another little look at the, uh, you know, sheath on my chest here and stuff. I wanna see what, if you want to see what kind of cook system I'm setting up here, guys. I kind of flicked used my new ferro rod. Uh, the big one by Uberluden to get it going. This is a, a monster ferro seam rod. And no, Nathan uh, 401, if you're watching this, it's not as big as yours, but it's a monster, okay? Uh, like I said, guys, uh, you got to check this sheath out, though, but I'll show you uh, a lot of close ups of this in the videos because you're going to see it because I'm going to carry it all winter, basically. But here's what I'm using for a cook setup. And uh, just a couple things I brought out with me. It's kind of strewn here because I kind of kicked my pack, guys. I was looking at the chaga all excited, and I set it down. But, uh, you know, I'll just cooking on a wood thing. I got this here for a Pathfinder bag. Uh, this is a Pathfinder canteen shop bag. A Camelback bag, and the, and the whole setup fits right in that. Uh, Canadian Forces canteen, my Kooksa. But uh, I'm just going to have a brew here, guys. But I wanted to, like I said, guys, check this out. There's going to be more videos. I'm on the fly and I'm talking fast and everything. But uh, check out Leonard Leatherworks. There's going to be a link in the description, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. You know, give him some sales. And know that when you're giving him sales, you're not giving it to a huge corporation that's polluting the earth. You're giving it to a, a craftsman who's a Canadian fella who is uh, making things better for his family. And he takes attention and time to detail. And that's why I went with this type of sheath for him because... You know, it's absolutely perfect, and I know a guy sat down and thought it out, made it with his own hands. So, anyway, guys, this is Maritime Spook signing out. Stay safe. I'm going to finish my coffee and keep keep rocking here up the trail. Um, but uh, it's a beautiful day. Get out and enjoy the wilderness, guys. Stay safe and keep that stick on the ice, as always. Check out Leonard Leatherworks. You'll see it a lot more in Spook's vids. Take it easy, guys.